when I got out, he just dropped No Flocking, which mm. blew. But at that time, it didn't. It was a song with a thousand views when I was getting out. You know what I mean? So while I'm in prison, No Flocking just blow. Like, this like a year later, though, it blow. So now Kodak just keep on getting bigger and bigger. But he did not, like, when he talk on the phone, he real humble with it. He not telling me what it is. I, I see the double X. He's like, it's doing okay. We're, we're doing all right yeah, out there. Like, oh, yeah, I just did a show. Man. But he not telling me this shit was just, just everybody was just going crazy. But I just did, I, I seen a double XL magazine. I got it, the freshman class, and he was on it. So now I'm reading it. I'm like, no, damn, he this big. So now I see they're like, who should be here that's not here? You're like, Jack Boy. They're like, where can we find his music? He was like, he don't got none yet, but he gonna have some soon. When I seen that, I was like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna start rapping. <laughs> You're like, I have to. Uh, yeah. So you didn't even have it because I was gonna ask you about that. So you got, when did you get the magazine in jail, first of all? And second of all, uh, you didn't have anything online at that point. You weren't even taking it that seriously until he said that. I didn't even think about rapping. I didn't even think of it. It was not even a thought. I saw my name in double XL. I'm like, oh shit. You know, he just saucing it, like giving me shout out. Fuck that. That's my right hand. I'm gonna keep on giving him shout out. They everybody thinking I'm a rapper now. So I'm like, all right, I'm rapping. When you talk to him afterwards, were you like, bro, like I you could have given me a heads up. Like I would have recorded yeah. some stuff. Now when I seen it, I was, we we laughed about it, but it was just like whatever. It was just like, all right, bro, you can't come out here because my only goal was for some reason I just thought doing Jack Boy type stuff was going to get me a million dollars or something. So now he just keep on showing like, yeah, bro, this like probably going to be it type. So now like, all right, I come home and I was like, you know what? All these other rappers, little right hand man, be just getting on the mic and just saying whatever and be making money off yeah. of that. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to cut on that band and say whatever. So when I started off, I got on there with the saying whatever. I ain't talking about whatever came to my mind. I said, whatever. I don't care. So now, it was crazy because at some of his shows I opened up for him and some of the fans was rapping that whatever back to me. And I'm like, what? Y'all like that? Oh, I know <laughs> I could go harder than that. And then, so it was like, all right, let me take this more serious. I might be able to do something. But I wind up getting locked up again nine months later. Damn. And I went back to prison. I went to prison two times. But the second time I was in prison, that's when it really hit me because it was like, while I was in there, I was getting so much fan mail because I just dropped the song Grimas. I just dropped G to the A with Kodak. Yeah. And then Bitch, I'm Up. I dropped all them songs. So it was, I was getting so much fan mail. And it was like, damn, I could actually get some money off of this. So this time when I got out of prison, it was like, oh, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm here. Um, I'm, I'm rapping. I'm a rapper now. <laughs>